What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be removing the seats out of this brand new Bronco and redoing the upholstery. Let's get into today's video. new Bronco we did some work to it we went ahead and did a wrap we got some upgraded wheels uh, we're gonna be doing some other accessories as well but obviously the interior I mean came out nice but in order for everything to match we're gonna bring it all together we're gonna go ahead and take these seats out and we're gonna be replacing them with red material to kind of match uh, the two-tone of the black and red uh, the original color of the car is red but we wrapped it but I think we're going to be doing uh, all red. We're going to do some design in here uh, with some stitching as well. It's getting rid of this brown and putting some red, maybe some accents here as well. And just kind of doing doing the interior right, making it right, making it look good. Uh, we're also going to be making these seat covers in production for your Broncos. So if you guys need your Broncos uh, custom interior, we're going to be offering that here soon. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how to remove the seats, getting them out of the car, and also removing the upholstery. So it's something that you guys can just send to us. We can do the seat covers again, send them back, and get them installed in your car, whatever color, stitching, pattern, anything you need. So uh, without further ado, let's get these seats out. All right, guys, pretty simple uh, for the front seats. You're gonna have four bolts that hold it here, here, and then back here. Then from there, you'll be able to flip it and disconnect the power wires, and she should be out, so do it. All right, so we got it is a 12 millimeter socket you're gonna need on here four bolts and then we'll go ahead and take out the electrical on that too as well easy all right make sure you get these in the front all right once you got all four bolts seats should go back and pretty much it's pretty simple you got this connection here go ahead and disconnect that and uh we'll be able to pull the seat out We got the pretty much the same deal here on the front seat. Two bolts in the front, two in the back. Disconnect and pull her out. All right, so now on to the back seat. These obviously fold down, come down here. So there's gonna be some uh, hinges that we have to take apart. This back piece has to come off so we can access the bolts down here. So I think we should be able to pop this out through the back. That'll give us access to the bolts there. We'll go ahead and take those off and that should allow us to take the seat out. Probably there's some underneath the seat there. So we'll start with the ones here in the back. All right, so the ones in the back here are 18 millimeter. So we've got a ratchet, Let's take them off. Desert Michino! Work harder, not smarter. Is that right? I don't know how to use this. Let me see how you use it. Oh, uh, see, that's how you use yeah, that, that power tool. I love it, Chino. <laughs> I think you're supposed to push the button. Come on, push the button. Snap on, baby. What's going on? Snap on. Oh, oh what? Chino, come no, on. Is that, that's how you use an electric ratchet, guys. Yeah, Here man. we go. Go ahead and put it on there. Also on the front of the seat, we have some plastic covers. Pretty much you just go ahead and pull straight out and they'll expose the bolt there. So we got bolts here, bolts here in the middle, a couple bolts over there. Chino, what size is this? 12. 12 millimeter? Allegedly. Right. Allegedly. I love Save it. you're right. No, they're 13. Uh, wrong. All those muscles, Chino. Damn, be working out, Chino. <laughs> that soy protein. I want to be like you when I grow Damn. up. Nice. See, that's what happens when you do a lot of Pokemon challenges. That you get all ripped day. like this man. All day. Just picking up those cards. All day. Fucking flipping, all shuffling. Day. All fucking day. Clapping cheeks all day. Clapping cheeks all day. All day. All 
So there's okay. another little cap that will expose the bolts that go in between the seats, like hold the brackets and also I think the seat belts. Take those off. I believe those are going to be probably the same size as the back 18 millimeter. We'll pull those out and we'll get ready to get this one out. So we have to get a little creative with this one because it's in between the seats. So you have to kind of fold it and I'm holding it here uh, to be able to get that out. So give a hell, Chino. Interesting. I think we need a higher torque battery here. Yeah. But once you crack it loose, then you should take care of it. A couple more strokes, Chino. You should know about them strokes. Look at those muscles. I feel, this. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a kung fu movie right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right now that we got all the bolts out of here there's some on the side so pretty much the seat belt that goes here on the broncos there's a plastic cover you'll pop that off and then will expose the last bolt which is like a hex style bolt we'll take those two off and we should be ready to get this uh, back seat out all right so we went ahead and pulled uh the torx bits what size is that you know i have no idea Thank you, sir. Can you read on the side <laughs> of the socket and what it says? It says T55. T55. Give it hell. It that's how, I don't know if it showed that in the filming, but that's how Chino looked like he was struggling. But it would be like Chino flexing as he's doing it. That's so mighty, man. Fuck. Yeah. Hola, papi. And pretty much after that, you're gonna have to finesse it. Play Tetris. Hey, hey, easy, 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 easy. There he is. All right, guys, so we went ahead and took out all the seats out of the Bronco. We got them right over here. So we're gonna come in and get them onto our upholstery bench. We'll go ahead and take them apart and then we can go ahead and start doing the patterns for the new seat covers we're gonna be doing on this Bronco with some red material. Let me go show you guys. All right guys, so this is the material that we're gonna be putting on the Bronco. It's a nice, great vinyl leather, synthetic material, really nice, soft. I mean, you can tell, look how good the the grain is, I don't know if you can see it there, maybe this angle, but it's really nice and soft, great backing, almost like a suede kind of backing. That's what the they call this uh, like leather vinyl uh, combination that they do, but it's it's a great, very sturdy, very nice. So can't wait to get these this material onto those seats. So without further ado, let's get it going. So we interrupt today's video oh for, uh, <laughs> we got lunch here from Olga bringing us some, some lunch here from Paris. Tell us, tell us where you are, shout us out, where, where you at? Um, so, <laughs> Salvador. <laughs> hey, come on, where, where, where you at? Where, where uh, you we're in Escondido, uh, we're in this little, uh, in this little shopping center uh, in Escondido Boulevard and Mission. Uh, we're at 242 West Mission Avenue in Escondido again, and uh, we, yeah, we're a fatty, so. Check us out. Usually these guys usually do a lot of work on my truck. So, hey, check them out. <laughs> see, see, we do such a good job that she, she brings us over lunch. The crew, everybody loves the food. And uh, it's funny because we give it, you know, we, we don't say nothing, but it's vegan. So when the guys try it, dude, they're like, oh my God, it's so good. And it's vegan. It's really good food. So check her out, fatties, and we'll get back. Lunch time. Just behave and do, do, do your best. Sure. Ryan, see? See, it's on a oh, mint. Oh man, you, better, you were serious. You better work on that track, make sure it's perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be you got your drink perfect. Perfect. Y'all know. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys, so we have the Bronco seat up here. I want to show you guys how to, after it's off, what you need to do in order to get the seat cover off, all right? So you want to go ahead and flip this thing on the side and it'll expose pretty much everything underneath. You'll see the cover has this style of clips. Basically, these clips kind of grab like this so what you want to do is either slide like a plastic you know popper and you can kind of get in under it and then pop these off all the way around then from there there's some other covers that go here you want to take all these uh, clips off you know either with a little pry and kind of pry those off and then from there pull this off so you can get access to these clips as well so let's do it
All right, now that you've done that, we need to remove this cover because it's in the way of taking this cover off. And you'll see behind there, pretty much in the plastic here, there's a T20 that goes right there. There's one there and there's one on this side. Take that off so you can remove this cover and get better access. The other one, here's a better shot, it's right here. So you're gonna need something short than this, barely on there. All right, now that you took off those two screws, you wanna go ahead and pop the panel up so, and it'll expose a clip here. You go ahead and take this off, it's a connector. And voila, now we have access. All right, now that we have that off, you're gonna see these plastic clips that I was showing you guys. Pop them off here, and we should, the seat's off, but something else is holding in the back. There should be probably some other plastic pieces. You can probably see here, there's some other clips that need to come off the cover. Basically kind of chasing what you need to expose. There's another clip here, see that? A couple of these clips, and I think that should loosen the rest up. So let's pop those off. We should be free. All right, once you have that off, pretty much the foam that comes out of here, you wanna push it through this rail and that should free up the upper half. All right, now that you have it, now that you have it loose enough to pull the seat cover with the foam, you went ahead, uh, went ahead and, and push this down and then flip the cover over, all right? Go ahead and just flip it over like you're flipping inside out of your clothes. Got the best analogy I can say. You know your underwear or whatever you you guys like to do there so once you flip it over like this it'll expose uh there's hog rings that hold it in place there you want to cut those and follow it all the around the cover as you're taking some off you'll get more access into further the seat until you get the cover off so let's do that All right, so I wanted to show you, as I kept cutting, they go right here. You have to use some sort of uh, kind of cutting uh, tool like this. And you go ahead and like cut the piece off, which is, these are the hog rings that you're cutting. Just like a little piece of metal and goes right in here, grabs this and goes in. That's what you're gonna need also when you install these covers. So pretty much as you're going, you're flipping, finding all the spots on the seats that you need to cut, get that off and pretty much the cover is off so just have to slide it off the foam and we'll have the bottom out now ready to get the back off this has like a zipper here that, that's sewn in you want to go ahead and get that zipper all the way up and that'll allow you to get access to everything you'll be able to take this apart here and that'll bring it out so you're able to take off any other clips that you might need to take off here. Same with this side, it has a zipper. Pull that zipper up as well. And that'll expose the back to all the clips that you want to do. We'll go ahead and start taking those off. The clips that are in here pretty much have a plastic tool here. Get in there and pry them off. And that'll pop those off. Do the same on the other side. Just like that. There's a Velcro here. And a strong Velcro. All right, now that you got all that exposed, I'll show you this is all the clips that had to come off. There's another clip that goes here, up here. One thing you're gonna have to do is you see these bolts, there's two nuts here. These are like 10 mils. That's what holds the airbag, you can see the airbag there, into the seat cover. They make like a little pocket. So we have to unbolt that. And then from there we can pull the airbag out, then slide it out of its pocket. And then from there we can take the headrest off and the bunch of other hog rings that probably go in the middle here. And then we'll be able to pull uh, the cover off. So let's get that off. So, 
The two bolts or the two nuts that are in there, it's a 10 mil. So you go ahead and get in there and loosen her up. All right, now that you got the two nuts off, the airbag will come out. You can see that that's where the hardware was. You wanna go ahead and peel that back and then slide the airbag out. See, the airbag will stay here and the cover separates from it. All right, so pull, go ahead and pull now the headrest. Okay, you got it there. And then from there, you'll see it has like, like a Velcro right here. That just goes into those channels. Pull that away. And then we're back to our fun hogging. So kind of get it, cut all those away and that'll slight start peeling there. This has a small hole. So what we're gonna try to do is access here. You see the pins that hold the headrest in to slide these out so that we can get the cover out of this. So we'll do that too. All right, through the back side of the seat, you can find the clip for the headrest. You push it in, kind of jiggle up. There you go. Pretty much have like a little clip you push in there and then they slide up. Now, we can peel this back. And now we can expose the rest of the cover here. The last hog ring. And voila guys, you have your seat covers removed. And the next step is we'll start unsewing them so we can get the patterns and uh, we'll start sewing her up. All right guys, so we're going, going ahead and putting the door panels on the Bronco. We went ahead already and wrapped the top portion and the armrest already in red to match the seats. Pretty much these door panels are pretty, uh, I would say easy to take off. So you have a clip here, I can get it off. So pretty much this is the major clip that's gonna go onto the panel that controls the lock and handle. The rest are just pretty much uh, plugins. And as you see here, clips, maybe one or two screws at the bottom and up here, and that's it. So let's do it. Hey. <laughs> Don't forget the clip. Don't forget the clip. Did you, did you forget the clip? No, oh, I forgot the clip. I remember the clip. Oh, I did forget this. <laughs> This is the major clip that's gonna go onto the panel that controls the lock. Don't forget the clip, guys. Don't forget the clip. Voila. No, you still got more stuff to do. Once you got everything aligned where the clips are, it's just a matter of pop. So Mr. Alex here says that he can put it in faster, but uh, I see you struggling, buddy. What's going on? Where you at? Where you at? Nope, 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 nope. Done. I taught him how to do the first one, so <laughs> yeah, I just make it easier for him, but we'll let him take that W right there. Let's see, does it still lock? Let's see. It Let's locked. See. Yeah, yeah, just check it. All right guys, so I wanted to show you, cause I didn't show the process on these door panels. A lot of door panels that have like either inserts or factory armrests that look like they're separate. Sometimes they come um, factory heat seamed with plastic. Uh, you kind of see it here. This is after the fact. So, but you can see how it like, it's just like almost like a heat press, right? So basically in order to do that, you have to melt it or cut the heads off this on, on those inserted parts. You take that off. Same with the armrest. The armrest is, uh, you can remove it. You can see the clips here, right? You take that off. Once you blow these off, then the piece itself will come out separately, which would be this piece. Then from there, you can clean it up, wrap it in whatever color you want, which we did in red to match. Same with the armrest. But because you can't factory, you can put like some hot glue, but we what we like to do is we just go ahead and get 
some small little cell piercing uh, screws. You go ahead and put those in throughout. It'll hold everything in place. Later, if you need to do it or fix it or whatever, then it's easy to access. So that, I just wanted to show you a little tad bit on the upholstery. So if you're looking to do your Bronco interior, you know, you can go ahead and do that. So this is the last door panel. We'll get this installed. All right, a couple other pieces that we took off the Bronco um, are these. It's the same brown that the seats have, but I think because it's a little textured, if we go red, we can dye it red, but because it's a different like texture, I think it'll throw it off. So I think we're just going to paint all these black, the areas that are like this copper brown, and then these little blue accents here, we're going to go dye them in red to match the rest of it. Same with this little blue accent here, and then this here so we'll get these uh you can see the brown there that looks black there it is but once we get these uh prepped out we'll get these shot that'll tie in the whole dash pieces together we went ahead already and wrapped the dash pieces already on the car which i'll show you here these are the dash pieces that go on the top bronco we already disassembled it and wrapped it same with the lower piece here you can see it was like brown blue and wrapped in red that's where the start button here and i'll show you how the dash looks right now all all taken apart all right so i'll show you here this is the bronco dash we went ahead and uh, took everything apart here's a bunch a couple clips some hardware that goes along with it this lower portion as well same with the cluster on that side took it apart so we'll get that other pieces together on top of the dash and then we can kind of button everything together once we dye everything but these pieces too we're gonna get kind of creative so we can get these uh painted as well so we can tie in the whole interior i'm almost done with the seats so i'll show you guys the progress of that right now and uh this thing's looking really good baby all right guys so i've been cutting out all the pieces for the bronco seats i'm gonna start sewing everything together and we'll get everything mounted and I'll show you, show you guys that process. While I was, uh, you know, sewing, I made a little special hat for Juan. I know his head gets a little cold sometimes. Winter's coming. Let's see how it fits. Right, Juan, let me see. Look at that. So yeah, keep my guys looking good. While well, I'm finishing up the upholstery, so Juan, I taught Juan everything he knows. Le enseñé todo lo que sabe Juan, yo le enseñé todo. Y él es mi chalán. Y lo que no lo aprendí en Tijuana. <laughs> Alright, let's get these seats sewn up. Alright guys, so I got everything sewn up. Uh, I'm going to show you pretty much the same way I took it apart by putting all the hog rings into these areas. Pretty much you have to make sure you flip the cover like this inside out so that you can get to all these parts. These are going to be the hog rings that are going to go onto the seat itself. So you're going to have to peel back and hog ring everything together. Then once that's done, you kind of flip everything over. And obviously this is a quick uh, you know, tutorial on how to do this, but obviously there's, you have to put it all back together same with the back got out all that sewn up same thing make sure you copy everything you took off the same so see how it looks now and just like that oh make sure you stick it in the hole and hey, chino which one is which You're so muscular which one is which i'm going to the gym Huh? Show him those muscles. I'm I'm learning from Saul. Pa que huele Saul. Is it, is it, is it? That is gonna be the passengers. But what we got over here? Uh, look at Alex. Full squad today, getting everything installed. Alex, tell us how easy this dash was to come apart. Uh, relatively easy, but annoying. Easy, but annoying. Easy, but annoying. Easy, like but that. annoying. Like you can see. Putting on the bottom with the start buttons, that alone with the door panels looks so good. He's gonna finish putting on the top section and then we'll go ahead and start putting the seats back in. As you saw, we also added a little something back here that I didn't show you guys, but we went ahead and added a aftermarket subwoofer 
in the back uh, tailgate which looks really nice and also amplified so it's gonna sound a lot nicer but just those little things this car this Bronco has so much accessories so much things you can do with them and that's why I really like this car and obviously if you guys been following the channel we have one for my mom we have a Bronco that we're gonna be doing up a lot of accessories we have something in the works where we, we have custom flares that'll go on this that we will have in production hopefully uh, next year so for all you Broncos out there you guys want some nice form-fitting flares we're gonna have those next year so we really like the Broncos and all the accessories that you can add to them so and that's one thing that that's why we got it for our mom we can keep upgrading it keep her loving the car as she does so um, without further ado let's get these seats in there guys let's get these seats in there guys Alright guys, here's the back seat. We got all this mounted and installed. Everything looks great. I love working with this material. It came out really, really nice. Pretty much, uh, we we'll go ahead and do the same process. Take this apart. Make sure we put our connections, our seat belts, and uh, we'll get her in. Here's the other piece that I was talking to you about that I showed you, the other dash piece. It just kind of snaps into place here. Uh, it has some hardware that retains it there and underneath. Make sure you put your upper dash control panel as well. Then we'll be able to put all the speaker covers as well. Assemble this side and uh, the, the dash should be uh, all wrapped up. All right, so I went ahead and started putting all the hog rings that go on the bottom of the seat. They go here, 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 along the sides. Now, once you do that, you want to give it a stretch and then start pulling it over the seam. Now it's looking like some upholstery. Welcome to SOS Self Tappers. If your material does not go in properly, remember to use the provided self tappers. And in the seam, so they hide, that's where you want to self tap and they will hide perfectly well. Make sure you remember to slide the airbag back into its position and the two screws that go back here so that it goes into the cover. So now we can proceed with the rest of the cover on and get her hog ringed and stretched out. I got pretty much mounted. I need to do the top headrest. We'll go ahead and put the control panel here and then uh, we should be good to go. All right, now that we got the seat fully mounted, looking good, now we can go ahead and proceed and put the headrest clips. You always can see how, make sure you know how you took them out or you can kind of see how the headrest is because the headrest has the adjuster clip on this side. So they're basically gonna go like this. Voila! Got the final seat all mounted up, ready to go. So let's go ahead and put this thing on and finish up that interior. Oh. Make sure you get your sets. One, two, three. Slider in. All right, one of the final pieces of the puzzle on the Bronco is an armrest. We went ahead and took it off. We're gonna see, we have to take it apart here. Some of these have like a heat seam press. Can't really mess with it because the 
the latch and the trigger here so we might be able to just to tuck the material in here uh, but we're gonna are, we are gonna do it in the red the same and maybe if we can add some red stitching along the sides I think it would look really nice and complement it so we'll go ahead and uh, get it ready and uh, cut the piece out and we can go ahead and uh, get this wrapped up the next day good morning good morning the next day pretty much got everything put on we went ahead and Juan killed it last night he went ahead and put on the console already nice you saw how it was yesterday we put in some nice French stitching to kind of match the rest of the seat and that's just kind of ties in the whole interior with the console being done dash door panels just everything with the two-tone looks really really nice and being all red some people are kind of afraid of that but I think on this car it goes good the car is red so it just kind of makes the interior pop even more it looks really nice we're gonna go ahead and get it all detailed up and I'll show you guys the finished product here shortly. Alright guys, that concludes the 2021 Ford Bronco interior that we just finished up. Obviously we did a couple accessories, we wrapped it, got some new wheels, leveling kit, sound system. Now we finished it off with the interior, it looks so good. Let me show you guys how it came out. Just off the get go man, just obviously that bright red, it looks so good in here. The customer is going to be really happy how everything turned out, all the color accents and everything looks so good so so you guys know we got a couple couple things down the pipeline on these Broncos as you know we have one that is my mom's that we're gonna be building uh, next year we have some flares in the works custom flares are gonna be made by us we got upholstery kits coming for these and a bunch bunch more accessories that we're gonna be pulling out for you guys so I really really appreciate you guys support and um, Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification button for new up-to-date videos. And here at SOS Customs, we got you covered. Peace.